Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another mod review. I am very excited to show you all this mod because it is something that I have been looking for for my gameplay for a very long time. It is the Arranged Marriages mod by Mizore Yuki. If you were wondering why I am so excited for an Arranged Marriages mod, it is because I, I feel like at this point I should just say I solely play royal gameplay on my channel or just in general. I just pretty much just royal families. If you're new here, I do have a royal family let's play series that I will link below if you're interested interested in checking it out. And then I also have a royal starter save that is available to download. And that is what I am using to show you all this mod today. But before we jump into game and I show you everything, let me first go over the important information for this mod. Now this mod is currently available as this video is coming out. It is available for early access, but it will be available for the public on February 13th, 2022. This mod allows Sims to marry without any romance being required, allows neutral weddings, and you can arrange in three different ways for different playstyles, with more options being added at a later date, such as matchmakers and placing ads, which I don't know what that is, but we will find out in the future. And please note too, the creator says that the, that they consider this to be mostly beta testing for a couple of reasons. One is mostly just to make sure that it's working correctly for everyone, and then also because EA is releasing a wedding-themed game pack at some point, and it may fall in the early access period, which I don't believe it does. I think it comes out like February 17th or something like that. So the first and main focus is, of course, arranging marriages for other members in the active household with a member of another Sims family. Second is arranging marriages for the currently selected Sim with a member of another household. And the third is a regular marriage of convenience option between your Sim and another Sim of choice. So you can see more details about how each one functions under the arranging choices section. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this and then we will see how it all works in game. Last thing really quick is the mod requirements. There are none. It is just base game compatible for now. So that might change with the wedding game pack. As I mentioned before, I am using my royal starter save to show you all this mod. I do stream my gameplay for this mod on my Twitch channel. However, I am using a newly, like I just downloaded this from my download post. So pretty much nothing has been touched. I'm like using it as like a, a brand new save file. However, only thing is I thought it would be easiest to show you all how to do the arranging marriages for the sim self. I am pretending we're going back in time for the royal family of Winterberg. So this is before the king and queen are married. And then we will go to the other households to show you guys the other aspects of the arranged marriages mod. So since we're pretending this is before the king and queen are married, this is Mary and she is currently living with her sister in the more city area of Windenburg. Technically, I would imagine that his parents would have been alive and, and maybe done this arranged marriage set it for him, but um, I didn't create his parents for the save file. So I am just going to have him do it himself. Um, there's not really much of a relationship relationship at all with Mary and Edward. The instructions for the mod does say that the Sims must have met each other first in order to use the interactions, but you don't need a high friendship to select them. There's also a bit of a scoring system, so it's based on several factors. If the score is too low, the interaction will instead fail with some minor relationship loss. Factors include things like mood, traits, skills, careers, reputation, fame, and character values, and money. Oh my goodness, that is very complex. I love it. Okay, so I mean, they have a bit of a relationship. We're just, we're gonna see if this works. Okay, so I didn't realize that you actually have to ask a person in the Sims household that you want your Sim to be in an arranged marriage with. So I've teleported Mary's sister here and I am going to instead ask her. So we go to friendly, other Sims and arranged marriage for self. And you can do this for like the Sims parent or, you know, older sibling or, or pretty much anything, I think. Okay, arrange future marriage. Who's hand of marriage should King Edward ask for? Mary Devlin. So, oh, okay. So they're shaking hands. I guess that's like, okay, deal. So King Edward has just got engaged to Mary. Now I do know that this will depend on the ages of the Sims that you're doing this for. So instead of like the arranged marriage for self, if we did arranged marriage for, so you can arrange marriage for, for example, if they had kids, we'll, we'll actually do this in just a little bit. Um, but it will say betrothed if they're teenagers or kids. So then that way when they turn into young adults, then it will switch to engaged. And we're about to see that in just a moment. But first, let's see what this wedding looks like. So plan a social event. It is going to be the smallest wedding, but pretend it's a giant wedding because it's a royal wedding. All right, so yes, if you go all the way down here, it says neutral wedding. I want to keep on the gold event because I'm curious what the goals will be. So, okay, we're really only gonna have like one guest. I'm just gonna invite his sister or her sister. I'm gonna invite Mary's sister. Oh, two are required. Okay. Oh, the Earl, the Earl of Windenburg. We'll invite him. We'll pretend that the Earl and the King are like real good friends. So. We 
we don't need all this. We're good. We don't need to throw, we'll pretend it's a big wedding, but it's not a big wedding. I just want to see the ceremony specifically and how that works. Let's do this. This is like my favorite place in Wittenberg. Let's go to the Chalet Gardens, the Von Hans estate. All right, so it is neutral wedding time and we're just going to get right to it. So it looks like the goals are the same as a regular wedding. So talk to guests, have guests watch ceremony and have drinks. We're going to just go ahead and have them get married because I'm so curious what the ceremony is going to be like. We're going to go to the archway back here, get married to Mary Devlin. I'm so used to playing this game with so much CC and mods. It's very weird not having any in here. I hope for the upcoming wedding pack that guests will actually be able to sit and watch the ceremony instead of like stepping into the picture because it is, it, it happens a lot. Okay, so they're having their ceremony. Okay, so you can have a choice if you want to kiss them or not. I, I feel like this is actually really great um, because I feel like some ceremonies, like if I'm doing ceremonies from different cultures, like kissing isn't a thing. Like they don't kiss at the actual ceremony, but I don't know if this is only available for neutral wedding because even if someone's not having a neutral wedding, they still, sometimes they still wouldn't kiss. So anyway, um, let's try not kissing. I'm just curious how this goes. So they just chat. Okay, moving in together. Okay, cool. So that was a neutral wedding. We'll move her in. Then now she will become the queen of Windenburg, but I won't worry about the changing the name. I just wanted to see the actual ceremony and what it was like. But okay, so we're gonna try the next section of the mod with the other families. Okay, so now we're fast forwarding to present time when you first download this save file. And for those who aren't familiar, the royal family of Oasis Springs is trying to have their son be betrothed to the princess of Mount Kamarebi. And then also the royal family of Willow Creek is trying to do the same thing, but I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with the Oasis Springs royal family. The royal family of Oasis Springs is here and it looks like Prince Sanjay showed up in his bathing suit. I'm going to change that if he wants to impress his possible future in-laws. Um, so change outfit. Okay, yes. The prince consort, he is going to knock on the door and we're gonna see how this goes. And then we have the emperor and empress over here. So we're going to chat. We're going to have a friendly conversation, ask about day. I think we kind of already have a relationship, like a slight friendly relationship with the emperor and empress. Yes, okay. Oh, so they're, they're fairly good friends with them. They know. All right, Akira, she is here somewhere. And the thing is, for also those who don't know, so she has a secret boyfriend who is a commoner who her parents would never approve of. But we're going to get into that in a bit. Maybe I should have, because they're the monarchs, the queen and the emperor, I'm going to have her talk to him about this. Friendly and other sims and arranged marriage for. Where is Akira? Oh, okay, there she is. Akira's right here. She's probably like, oh no, I don't want to do this. And then Sanjay's here. Sanjay probably also doesn't want to do this, but he's like more neutral about it than Akira is. Akira's very against it. Okay, so this menu will pop up after you say arrange marriage for. So she wants to arrange a marriage for her oldest son, Prince Sanjay, and their daughter, Princess Akira. And we will see if they say yes. They're like chatting, discussing, talking about it. All right, and they're shaking on it. Okay, Prince Sanjay is now betrothed to Princess Akira and will be able to marry when both reach adulthood. So they will have this that said, oh, where did it go? They don't have that great of a relationship right now. <laughs> um, open sim profile. So it does say betrothed. It's also awkward right now too. I'm gonna switch over to play from the Mount Kumarami household. I'm trying to see if they have any mood lit. Oh, they do. Okay, newly betrothed. Yes. From new arranged marriage contract. Prince Sanjay is unsure how to feel about having their future spouse decided for them. Oh, cool. Okay, I like this. I have now switched over to the royal family of Mount Kumarabi's household because I want to try something, but we are going to send everyone home. We'll pretend they had their dinner, they had their chat, and it does look like Akira has the same moodlet that Sanjay had. And now I'm going to have her because, okay, so she does have that like slightly negative relationship with Sanjay, and then she does have her secret boyfriend, Sadao. And I'm going to see, apparently, you can have her refuse to marry. So let me see how this works. Okay, so she can complain about arrangement. Interesting, that is in the friendly one. Discuss newly arranged marriage and enthuse about arranged marriage. And then she can also refuse. Let me first have her complain about the arrangement. All right, so she's hugging her dad first and now she's going to complain. All right, there we go. He's like, I'm not having it. I'm not listening to this. Um, And then let's see, does that have, okay, it does have something. Unhappy arrangement from unsatisfying arrangement. Princess Akira is feeling hurt, sad, and disappointed. Her match isn't exactly what she expected. At the same time, Princess Akira feels maybe there is a part of her that is resigned to this. Interesting. So I can also have her go friendly 
And what if she refuses to marry Prince Sanjay? What will happen then? All right, let's see. Princess Akira has informed Emperor Takio that they refuse to marry Prince Sanjay. Is he just gonna say okay? Is he, what? Wait, I'm very confused what just happened. Why was their romantic relationship increased? Oh, oh, she's not betrothed to him anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I just checked. It does say that, it, so if Sims are unhappy with their arrangement, then they have a chance to break it off with consequences slash reactions coming at a later date. Okay, we will have consequences or reactions to that later on that will be added. It does say that all interactions are under the friendly menu, but this may change. Also, I don't think we're gonna get into this today, but it does say for Sims in a marriage of convenience, option, they can change their mind and stop the relationship at any point. And also, parents will be able to break off arrangements with the other family in a future update as the system is complicated. That makes sense. I'm sure this in general was already complicated. I'm so happy with the things that were added here in general. Like, this is a great basis for the mod, and I'm so excited for the future updates too. This will actually add so much to my royal gameplay, and I'm very excited. Especially for this, the starter save specifically that I'll be playing on my Twitch stream. And then I think you could also have a regular wedding if you wanted to, like, for example, if you have sims that were betrothed to each other and they ended up falling in love before they got married, hinting at a storyline that has happened in my royal family series, then you could do that as well. Whether you agree or support arranged marriages or not, I think that this mod will add so much to royal gameplay or historical gameplay or even like modern gameplay. I mean, arranged marriages are still a thing in some parts of the world, but that is all for today. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below because this mod is something, and I've talked about it with my community as well, this mod is something that I have wanted for a very long time. The arranged marriages thing has been very prevalent in multiple storylines. Let me know if you'll be downloading this mod and how you use it on your sims as well. If you are not subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!